Tic-tac-toe and password generators are not the kind of projects you want to have on your Python resume. If you want to add some weight to your Python resume, you need to have projects that satisfy two criteria. Number one, it should be solving a real life business problem. Number two, it should be end to end project with some level of complexity. In this video, I'm going to mention five such projects with YouTube videos and code and all the guidance that can help you crack interview in all these Python profiles. Also going to provide a sample resume so that you get an idea on how to mention these projects on your resume. Number one is grocery store management system where you can manage products and orders. In terms of technical architecture, this is a three tier software application where front end is written in HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. The middleware or the back end is in Python and we are using Flask as a web serving framework and the database is in MySQL. Now, if you're targeting Python full stack engineer role or Python backend role, it is important that you have knowledge of all these three tiers. And remember, this is an end to end project and it is available on my YouTube channel as a guided project along with the code. With this project, you will be able to add following skills in your resume. Now you'll be like, I don't want to copy this project. Obviously, you don't want to copy this project blindly and I have few customization ideas for you. You can build the same project for electronic shop or maybe an auto garage. Instead of Flask, use Fast API or Django as a web serving framework. And the third customization idea is to add order validation and unit of measure in the product page. The second one is T20 World Cup Cricket Data Analytics. This project is suitable for data analysts and data scientists, as well as Python backend engineer role. Here, Nick Puri and Grogu are challenging each other for a cricket tournament. We like your cricket. Surrender Earth. You need to fight 8 billion people for that. Although we use this imaginary character, this is a real life project which could be useful to uh, someone like Mukesh Ambani who is, let's say, doing IPL cricket team selection. And this selection happens based on uh, players' past performance. And you want to pick a team of 11 players who are the best performers. So in terms of technical architecture, this project involves three major components, which is data collection, data transformation, and dashboarding. For data collection, we used a tool called Bright Data. There is a sign up link in the video description below. For data transformation, we used Pandas. Now remember, Pandas is an extremely important skill for data analyst or data scientist career role. And for doing dashboarding, we have used Power BI. Now, if you want to replace Power BI with, let's say, Matplotlib or Seaborn, which are Python modules, you can do that as well. That way you use Python more uh, in the entire project. Also, you have to remember that any industry project will involve multiple technologies. So although you are hired as a Python backend engineer, it's not like 100% of time you are doing Python work. You have to work with multiple technologies. So this is another true end-to-end -end project where you are getting exposure to learn other technologies too, but Python is the main one. This is available as a guided project on my YouTube channel with all the resources. In that project also, I have mentioned few customization ideas so that you can make it look like your own unique project. And as I already said, instead of doing dashboarding in Power BI, you can build data visualization using matplotlib and seaborn which are the very very important libraries in python and here is how you can write this project in your resume the next one is medical data extraction where you will auto extract uh, medical information from documents such as patient details form or prescription from the scanned pdf documents here in US, my friend has a company where an insurance company sends him all these PDF documents and they traditionally had human workforce who will do manual data entry by looking at that image. But that whole thing can be automated using Python. In terms of technical architecture, this project has three main components, which is improving the quality of image using open CV and image processing principles. The step number two, is extract a text from the image using PyTesseract module. And step number three is using regular expression to retrieve the meaningful fields from the extracted text. And this entire thing is written in Python. This is available as a guided project 
on my website codebasics.io. I have this Python course where I'm teaching Python from very beginning and I'm uh, you know completing this whole project end to end and the cost of this project is less than the pair of clothes that you're wearing right now so go check it out a uh, link is in video description below with this you can add a lot of useful skills in your resume such as python basics to object oriented programming to numpy open cv regular expression pytesseract and so on i have few project customization ideas which is instead of medical data extraction you can extract data from scanned invoices or maybe you go to sec filings you look for 10k 10q documents where you know companies uh, file their quarterly or yearly performance and you try to extract meaningful fields such as revenue and EPS and you know expenses all of that from those documents. There are so many documents that you can get uh, through some free data sets on Kaggle or, or from some other website and you can perform data extraction using Python. In that project by the way what we did is once we built that python backend we wrapped it in a fast api web framework which is the latest web framework so this way you are learning fast api skills as well next one is sales insights project which is suitable for data analysts data scientists and python backend engineer roles here i have given you a mysql database which is nothing but a data warehouse for a computer peripherals company again i have a guided playlist along with the database on this and here you are hooking python with that data warehouse and in python you will use sql alchemy module to read the data so that is step number one step number two will be you'll be using python for doing data exploration data cleaning and data transformation and step number three will be using matplotlib and seaborn libraries for doing data visualization now the youtube video that i have uh, is using power bi for performing data transformation and dashboarding etc but these things can be easily replaced with pandas matplotlib etc so i'm giving uh, you that as an exercise and i have a pandas playlist just in case you don't know uh, that playlist has more than few million views so you can check it out it's really easy to learn Python, Matplotlib, Seaborn, etc. Look, if you want to build a career in data industry, you need to know Pandas, Matplotlib, all these useful libraries. This project requires some knowledge of SQL because you're writing all these queries in SQL Alchemy. And uh, once again, I have a very affordable SQL course on my website, codebasics.io for SQL. Once you finish this project, you will be able to add variety of skills to your resume, such as Python, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, SQL Alchemy, etc. The next one in the list is friends and family image classification. Huh? <laughs> they are also listening. If your cell phone, uh, let's say Android or iPhone, you might have noticed this feature where it will automatically classify the images of your friends and family. It will automatically tag the people. So this project is similar where uh, there are multiple steps in terms of technical architecture. The first one is data collection. So you can take your phone and download all the images and these images would be classified already, right? Let's say you have a friend Mohan or Tom or Jerry, all these images will be classified. So you take those images, you crop these images in MS Paint and you create a single person images basically. So let's say you have five friends or five family members, you have folder for each of these people that contains a single person image of those people all right then you use tensorflow's data augmentation to create more training images right so let's say there is a single image the tensorflow data augmentation will tilt and zoom these images to create a uh, you know bigger training data set and then you will use convolutional neural network and deep learning to train a model that can classify the image after you have trained the model, you can deploy this model in Google Cloud, let's say GCP and host it there. And you can have a React Native mobile application, which can call this particular backend and it can perform image classification. Now I have two projects on my YouTube channel, Sports Celebrity Image Classification and Potato Disease Classifier, where we built a React Native app. And if you look at these two projects, 
you will be able to build this particular project okay so the project that i mentioned for family and friends image classification i don't have that project ready made which is good because this way you are building your own project but if you get stuck then i have two projects which will be extremely useful right sports celebrity image classification here you just classifying your friends and the portrait of disease classifier where i have used cnn tensorflow all the things that you need for these projects are available in these two uh, particular project playlists once again check video description you'll find all the resources and by working on this project you'll be able to add some unique skills on your resume such as obviously you are doing python basics for loop functions models and so on you are also using python advanced features such as async function numpy pandas fast api and a lot of ml specific concepts such as tensorflow convolutional neural network and so on and you are also doing deployment in gcp once again this is truly end to end project that will add lot of weight to your resume this project is perfect for machine learning engineers and data scientists while i was talking i had an audience who was listening carefully to all these five projects and they all seem to like uh, these projects and if you are also liking these projects and this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who are looking for good python resume projects i wish you all the best any question comments there is a comment box below